this video is actually to tell you a story. It's a story that I uh, read or heard for the very first time years ago. And then I've retold it many times. But then recently, uh, it's crossing my path again. I just read a great book and they told the story in here. And then um, uh, an associate of mine actually came out with a video a couple of weeks ago and she made reference to this story as well. And so I have noticed in my life when something keeps reoccurring, I actually pay attention to that because I'm like, it's coming into my life again for a reason. So I'm going to figure out what that is. And I decided it's because I needed to share that story with all of you. So before I get into the story, here's a proper introduction. I'm Connie Jo Holmes, founder of BU to be Full Hypnosis and Coaching, and my mission in this world is to teach individuals how to confidently and courageously move from reacting to life to owning life. So to help me do that, if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, that will help the algorithm and that will help my video go out, get out to more people so that more people can discover my work and uh, um, you know, tap into these videos um, or seek me out for one-on-one -on -one coaching or anything like that so that they too can learn how to go from reacting to life to owning life. So I thank you in advance for that. So with the story, so how I recall the story being told to me or how I read it for the first time was there was a young adult woman who was making uh, Easter dinner for the first time. And so, you know, and she was hosting everyone. So her mom was there, her grandmother was there, everybody was there. And so she's in the kitchen getting ready to put the ham in the oven. And before she does that, she cuts off the two butt ends of the ham. And as she was doing that, she's like, mom, she said, you know, I'm doing this for the first time. And I'm just wondering why do we always in this family cut the butt ends off of the ham? What purpose does that serve? And the mom says, you know, I really don't know if it serves a purpose. She said, I always just did it because I always saw my mother doing it. She said, let's call grandma in here and go ask her. So they bring grandma into the kitchen and they ask her, grandma, why do we cut the butt ends off of this ham? And the grandma says, I don't know why you guys are doing it, but I always did it because I never had a pan that was big enough to hold the ham. So, you know, pause there for a minute, let that soak in. And so the point of me sharing this video, or I'm sorry, the story on this video is because how many of us have these uh, false truths going on in our life? How many of us have these, you know, generational long stories that just follow us? Um, and I guess I'll just call them, you know, the, the false belief, the false truth. You know, how many of us right now are operating our life based off of things that we have, you know, learned, witnessed, been told, you know, that type of thing, but we've never stopped to question it and say, why do I do this? Why do I believe things to be this way? Why do I do certain things a certain way? And that's why I love this ham story because it really just makes you pause and be like, that is right. How many things am I doing that way? And so I guess I just really want to challenge everybody to just, you know, think about your life and what false truths, what, you know, lifelong things have we allowed to soak into us as just the way it is. And we never stop to question it anymore. So I want to keep this video very brief and just, you know, share this. Uh, if you've heard the story before, hopefully the reminder of it is really nice. But if you've never heard it before, I hope it moved you as much as it did me the very first time that I heard it. Okay, so think about why you cut the butt ends off of that ham or whatever else you're doing in your life. So, all right, please go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. It really does help me in the algorithm. Um, and then also, if um, you are looking for any kind of support in your life, um, I am a certified life coach, health coach, and a certified hypnotherapist. And there's many different ways that I can help you. Um, helping people build their self-esteem and build their um, uh, um, sorry, their self-confidence and their self-esteem um, through self-acceptance is really my area of specialty. So um, if any of that resonates with you, please look in the description box below to set up a free 30-minute strategy session with me. All right, take care. Bye.